Oh, uh, hey guys, uh, what's up? Unrested, back again, finally with a new computer now. I don't know if you guys saw my post recently, but my Mac uh, recently died. It was one of those Mac mini boxes or whatever you call them. It, not a very good thing. I would never recommend buying one. They're kind of garbage. Um, but I've updated again with another Mac, so I'm not going to even listen to my own advice. Uh, but this is actually a MacBook Pro. Um, I paid for it to be like the maximum of everything, like the max RAM I could get, the max level processor and uh, terabyte drive. Uh, so hopefully this is going to last a while. Please, please last a while. Um, I've checked it out so far. It seems like it's doing pretty good. Even right now, I'm using the built-in camera and mic just as kind of a computer test. So I hope you don't mind that, that I'm kind of wasting time and video on... <laughs> not what my usual per camera is, which is my nice SLR, which uh, us usually I use this one right here. This is the camera that I usually use, my Sony SLR. Um, I, I love this thing on this little uh, older thingy with the stuff doing the things that are nice. <laughs> That's the extent of my technical talk. I never know what the hell I'm talking about when it comes to this stuff. I think I'm, I think I'm, I'm okay with a camera. I'm not too bad with a camera, but when it comes to sound, I'm just freaking god awful. Uh, I guess I can take some time to show you some stuff I'm working on. Uh, I was working on a comic right now called Metro Lore. Um, it's actually based off of a game that I made, an RPG maker. I never really finished the game because <laughs> while I was working on the game, um, the program crashed and then it lost everything that I had been saving because it had been saving to a cloud drive because its default set is to save on a cloud drive. Um, so I lost everything. I was kind of like uninspired by that. Like I, I lost all inspiration, all motivation after that uh, for the game. Um, but I started to bring it back to life in a comic book form because it, there's a lot of story. You have to write a ton of story when it comes to RPG Maker. If, if any of you guys know about that, you know what I'm talking about. Um, you know, RPG Maker is pretty much just an interactive story. It's nothing too complicated. On top of it, I'm working on... Um, uh, Kaizen's World, uh, which is uh, a Minecraft server that I'm on. Uh, currently, it's on a whitelist, so if you try to get on, you won't be able to unless uh, you can talk to the owner of Kaizen and, and get yourself on. Um, it's it's going to be restarted again. It's been restarted, I think, two or three times since I have been part of it. Um, first as just a normal survival server, then it became a faction server. Now we're going to restart it one more time as an RPG survival and faction server, having each part of the Kaizen world as like a, a different kind of uh, thingy with the, with the stuff that you do the things. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm, I don't know all the technical terms. Um, I can show you some of the other stuff I guess I'm working on too. Uh, I worked a little bit on this one comic about, uh, um, uh, <laughs> I can't talk, what's my problem? Uh, there's this character named, um, Densan, and Densan is, uh, pretty much a researcher of yokai, um, and his story's kind of complicated. He originally was like a, a samurai for a, uh, shogun who was, or, I'm sorry, a daimyo who was uh, killed, he was assassinated, so he's kind of like dishonored and put to death. The only thing is he can't die, um, and there's kind of a, a reason for that that I don't want to give away to kind of spoil the whole um, story behind the comic. Um, it exists in a fantasy version of Japan, um, and he must try to find the yokai that killed his daimyo, and so he goes to this place called Yokai Island where... It used to be the center of his um, entire country that he's part of that's like a fake Japan, a fantasy Japan. And it was the main ruler, the emperor was, was, he had his castle built on a giant mountain that was in the center of the country. One day that mountain erupted uh, because they didn't know it was an active volcano because it's kind of like medieval... Uh, I guess, time period where science isn't the best yet. And uh, it destroyed the castle. And uh, then uh, after it erupted, Yokai climbed out of the earth and ruled the island that that castle was on. Uh, the entire land was split into nine different clans ruled by nine different daimyos. 
and uh, you can see, yeah, like I've drawn a lot of it here. There's the castle. I based it off the Himeji castle. It erupts. It's not been inked yet, so I just got like all the pencil done. Uh, he's dead. They throw his body on uh, uh, Yokai Island, where he is uh, kind of pickpocketed by uh, feral Yokai. Um, here you can see he's getting thrown. His body's. I'm throwing. I'm showing you this out of order, but his body's being thrown there. Um, and uh, during that time, he takes the time to kind of uh, gather information on Yokai since he's trying to find the one that killed his daimyo. And so you learn a lot about Yokai while reading the book, like he diagrams them and stuff. There was actually two famous people from um, Edo era, Sushi Sek. Sakai, I think, was the one guy's name, and the other guy's name was uh, Toriyama, and they recorded all this information on those, so that's what this is all based on. I'm going to go ahead and click off right now because my wife just got home. i got to go meet her. Until next time, I'm unrested.